Hey guys, welcome back to another Default Cube CG Matter tutorial, and today I'm coming to you from the sound room because there isn't a single quiet place on this campus except for the sound room. So um, the webcam thing's probably going to be a bit dark, but maybe the audio sounds really good. So anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Mobius strip, which is kind of a random topic, but it's something I've been thinking about, So, and I figured out how to do it, so I thought I may as well show you. And for those of you who don't know, a Mobius strip is basically what you're looking at right now. It's basically a single sided surface. So if I took my mouse over here and dragged it along the surface, you see now we're on the inside and then you kind of go under, over, whatever. Point is, if you bring your cursor all the way around, you'll get to both sides of it because it's only a one sided object. And it's this really mathematical concept. It's called a non orientable surface. Doesn't matter. The question is, how do we make it in Blender? So. Let's just start up a new project, control N, start up a new project. And the nice thing about the Mobius strip and the reason why I wanted to teach this is basically the way you make it in real life. And we'll talk about that. The way you make it in real life is the same way you make it in Blender. So I thought it had this very intuitive approach to making it. So the way you make a Mobius strip, I don't have paper on me, but imagine you have a strip of paper. You then twist it, right? So you have this uh, paper, uh, you have both ends, you twist it 180 degrees, and then you just connect both ends. So it's just a twist and a bend. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing with modifiers. So uh, let's get rid of this cube and instead use something like a plane. And like I said, the first thing we need is a strip of paper. So how do we do that? We just model it. So edit mode, we're going to scale on the x axis and have it go along the y axis, although this is arbitrary. So there we go, that's our strip of paper. And since we need to deform this thing by twisting and bending, uh, we need more geometry because you cannot deform only four vertices and get the results that you want. So control R for loop cuts, we're gonna scroll up and then something like this. I mean, I guess the more loop cuts, the better. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, and by the way, I know you guys have been asking for screencast keys. I am working on it. I will find a solution. But for now, I'll just say uh, the important things I'm clicking. Okay, so we have this strip that has a lot of geometry so we can deform it. So the first step is to twist. How do we do that? Well, we can either do it by, you know, just moving this stuff manually. But what I prefer and what you should do is go to modifiers. We're going to add a simple deform. And you can see one of the types of simple deform is twisting. And since we are going along the Y axis in this case, we are gonna twist along the Y axis. And you can see that when we change this angle of twisting, it does exactly what we want it to. So 360 degrees is a full rotation. So in this case, half twist, 180 degrees. 180, boom, half twist. So that is the first step, right? And now what we need to do is take this. I wonder if I can use annotations. We need to take this. We need to take this and connect them by kind of bending. So the first thing is a twist, and now we have a bend. So how do we do that? Uh, first, how do I get rid of this annotation quickly? Okay, there we go. So now to do the bending, you see we also have a bend option, but if we change it, we lost our progress. So we need to add another simple deform to our modifier stack. This one we are going to set to bend. And the way you want to think about what axis you pick is if we are bending on the XY plane in this case, so we are bending on this uh, XY plane over here, that is basically normal to the Z axis. So this rotation along this plane is called Z axis. If we were to do it along X and Z, let me show you Z. If we did it along X and Z, we do it um, along the Y axis, right? You basically pick the only axis that uh, isn't uh, part of the bending, if that makes sense. So you just pick the one that's left out. So we are going to pick Z in this case, and you're going to see it's doing some weird stuff, especially if we go all the way to 360 degrees, which is what we want since we need this full bending. Um, it does some weird stuff. And I don't know if this is like intentional. I don't know if it's really the best design for this modifier, but there's an easy way to solve this. So shift A, uh, we are going to add basically a reference object. It can be anything. I prefer any kind of empty. So let's just go with the first kind. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and then in our second modifier that has the bending on it, our um, origin or our like thing of reference is going to be this empty that we added. Okay, so we're still on Z axis, but now we've oriented this relative to the empty. And now if we take our empty and move it around, uh, you see some weird stuff's happening, which means it's linked. Um, we can also mess with it this way. And you may be thinking, okay, how do we recover this? And this is where it's kind of weird how the bend modifier works. All we have to do is we take our empty, which is already selected. We're gonna rotate it on the Z axis in our case or whatever axis you're, you have set as your axis of rotation. So rotate along the Z 
And you're going to notice when we do this enough, there actually seems to be some semblance of sense over here, right? And you can see that at about here, which happens to be 90 degrees, so we can just type that in, uh, this bends into our Mobius strip, right? Now, if we go to edit mode on this, we lose our progress kind of because this is just baked in modifiers. So now that we're happy with this, just apply both modifiers and now it's on the geometry level. Okay, so now we have one mesh that is a Mobius strip and I would say that we're done, but technically there are still a couple issues. So first of all, I'm gonna set this to shade smooth uh, just to get that nice Mobius strip. And what you are going to notice is that the shading over here looks a bit broken. You can see the line where we um, attach both ends. And the reason for that is that this is a non-orientable surface. So like I said, it's a one-sided surface, which is not something that should really work in real life. And the only reason it works is because it's infinitely thin, right? This uh, thing started off as a strip of paper. So what I mean is if I show you the normals in edit mode, I can show you the normals. And this is just a cool trick. You can see that the normals are coming out this way. They go all the way around, and then at this discontinuity, they go the other way. So it's kind of like these normals are in flipped directions, and there's nothing you can do about it, at least for this infinitely thin case. But we'll talk about how to solve that. But the only other issue, and this one we can solve, is if we select this vertex, you see that this is still not kind of linked together. So we have this uh, one end over here, and then it's still detached, whereas we want uh, this pair of vertices to be attached and this one to be attached as well. So we have four vertices at this connection, but we only want two. So to fix that, you can either select these or everything because that's included, and then go to F3 or spacebar, whatever you have as uh, search, and then type in merge by distance. And you can see down here it said remove two vertices, which were the redundant ones. And now you can see that these are attached, but of course we have even more issues with our normals. And again, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, you can maybe mess around with auto smoothing to get back the uh, results from before, but it's kind of a lost cause. So how do we actually make this thing have continuous normals and kind of cheat a little? So this is kind of a mathematical cheat. So instead of having a in, er, an infinitely thin strip of paper, we're going to do the same process, but this time just make it a cube with a bit of thickness. So shift A, we're going to add a cube. And then this time we are going to do the same thing. So notice it's not a you know, it's not a plane, it has thickness, and then we are going to, this time let's actually do it along the x-axis just to prove a point. So now we are doing it along the x-axis. Okay, we need to add our loop cuts again just for a good deformation. And let me actually get rid of these normals, at least for now, since they're bothering me. Okay, so modifiers, same thing as before. Twist by 180 degrees is the first thing we do. So simple deform, uh, twist, and it's already set to x-axis in this case, which is a good thing since we are going along the x-axis. So angle, 180 degrees, perfect. And you can see it's actually twisting this whole uh, mesh that retains its thickness. And then again, simple deform, going into a lot of detail here, but you're not gonna find a better Mobius strip tutorial anywhere, I guarantee you. Uh, we're gonna pick bend. Again, we're going along the z-axis in this case, should work, and for 360 degrees. And it actually turns out that when you have thickness, apparently, or maybe it's the x-axis, but something we did here um, actually made us not have to do it relative to the empty and all that. It's either because of the x-axis or the thickness, because the thickness does have the, these kind of weird properties when you have none. But okay, so whatever, it worked, that's fine. So we're gonna apply both of these, perfect. And now I forget exactly where this connected, but oh, I guess it was over here. So now if we delete this face, you can see that inside our Mobius strip, there's still two faces in there because we just connected both ends. So we can either delete those or restart from the beginning and remove those um, faces. But let's just get rid of that one, get rid of that one so it's hollow all the way on the inside. And then we're just gonna select this um, edge, select this one, and then F is for fill, um, seals this back up. Okay, cool. So now let's set this to shade smooth which looks a bit wonky. And the reason is, um, the reason for this is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is go to the, this is object data, yep, and enable auto smooth, just like before. And again, uh, this time we should have four extra vertices um, that should be linked to the other pair of four vertices. So select everything, F3, merge by distance. And it says remove uh, four vertices. And this time you can see that there's actually no discontinuity at all. 
right? We got rid of the, we got rid of the discontinuity just by adding a bit of thickness, uh, which is cool because it doesn't have these weird um, normal properties. It's not a unorientable, non-orientable surface. So now if we go into edit mode, keep forgetting, and then go to our normals, you can see that there is continuity here, but this is a kind of a cheat because it's not a real Mobius strip. And the way you can uh, see that is you may think, oh, I could just you know keep maybe th this loop, and if we get rid of everything else, so let's get rid of everything else, you think that there's a Mobius strip, uh, but no, you just have these uh, kind of double winding coils that are actually one big loop, which is kind of hard to think about, honestly. Um, there's this mathematical property of Mobius strips that if you cut them in the middle, like we just did and separate them, then uh, or this isn't a Mobius strip, but whatever. If you cut it in the middle, you can actually create um, chains or multiple Mobius strips. I forget what it is. But at this point, I don't even know if what I'm talking about is Blender related. So the point of this tutorial is how do you use modifiers to model something that is very mathematical in nature? We did our bending, we did our, or sorry, we did our twisting, we did our bending, and we talked about the thickness of Mobius strips. And there you go. And you now know how to do it. You can thank me later. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, consider uh, supporting me over at my Patreon. It mainly supports the CG Matter channel, but more importantly, it supports me directly. So if you want to fund tutorials or fund me as a tutorial maker, check out my Patreon. There will be a link in the description. There are benefits. But other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this longest tutorial possible about Mobius strips. See ya.